yes, today I'm making a old family recipe called fideo, which is an old recipe my grandmother used to make and my grandfather. I never could figure out how they made it, but I used to watch them when I was a kid. So of course they made it different ways. They made it with uh, the fideo noodles, which is called um, cut fideo noodles, but you could buy it in the store. And then um, ingredients are tomato sauce, or you could use um, the hot tomato sauce if you like stuff real spicy and then you need your seasonings your salt garlic salt your pepper um, you could also use onions um, use a little clove of garlic um, and bell peppers any color is good usually the red bell peppers and the yellow ones and red ones are real sweet and then um, you use oil for your pan and then you you put one bag with your oil in your pan here. I use two pans. So you put oil in the pan, each one, and then you put, I use two bags for each pan, and then put it on a low flame. This here I diced up, I have to wash it. You always want to clean your produce when you use it for, for safety precautions because you never know what's on them. Oh, and then the garlic cloves. Garlic's really good. Makes food taste real good. There we go. There's some big ones. I would use one garlic clove for each skillet. You take your garlic clove and you squash it like this. Be careful. Like this. You have to de-skin it. Take the skin off. Because you don't want to eat the skin. Take the skin off. This is like really fresh garlic. Usually you um, dry it out. You know, like it's kind of easier to mess with if you. Now, see, here's a garlic clove. That's pretty big. So I usually do one per pan just to make sure. So that's totally de-skinned. Then I have this one here. You could cut the ends off like that. It might help you get started on peeling the skin off. These are really fresh garlic. So you get them, this one still has some skin on it, we'll cut it and see what, here we'll squash it like that, 
see what happens. See, there we go. Even when you think you skinned it, there's always something. Gotta really be cut it like this, dice it up a little. For those of you who like garlic, I love garlic in my food, it's healthy for you and good for your heart. Of course, this knife's a little too big, but get this one. Cut the ends off, get rid of it. It's pretty much like a small onion. Dice it up. It definitely will make this taste really good. Garlic and onion are really good for your heart. This looks like a lot of garlic, but really it's not. It will make your food taste really good. Actually, I should use a smaller knife, but I'm used to using the one. It's just whatever you're comfortable with. So you put it in there. You have to get all this washed. So you get all that washed. And the oil. You get the oil and you put it in your pan, go around like this, then you put two bags of potato noodles in it. You're basically going to fry it up. on low flame. Low flame. You put two bags. Depends on how big your family is. If it's just like one person eating, probably one bag is enough. That's even more than enough. I usually cook four, four bags. That's enough for one serving for seven people. And you cook it on a low flame and you basically just let it simmer with the oil. I need to get a spatula. Simmer it in the oil like this. Get the oil to lubricate it. You don't try to rush making fideo, you just take your time. See how it's getting glossy with the oil? And be careful you don't spill it out of the pan. Just kind of simmer it like this. See how it's getting lubricated now with the cooking oil? That's actually canola oil, by the way. And see how it's getting all 
lubricated now. I'm gonna have to get water because you wanna dilute it because it gets dehydrated. Once it starts warming up, it starts getting too hot, so you wanna get a little water to cool it down. I need a, a container full of water. <clears throat> I'm asking my assistants to help me because it's hard to do all this when you're one person and you're trying to film it. And see how the Fideo is, is all covered with like oil. It's kind of like you're stir frying it, but you're just kind of simmering it, see? You gotta be careful, see how I pop that out? You're not supposed to really do that. So what I do is I put a little water, just enough to kind of lubricate it a little. And just let it simmer. So what I'm gonna do, take this off the grill because right now I have another pan to get started. So we need to get this one going. Give me the oil please. The oil, so we get the oil. This one's not cooking, I had to take it off because I don't want it to burn while I'm trying to do this. So get your oil and put a good enough amount Kind of go ring around the rosy, you know. You put the same thing, two packs of Fideo in the pan and a big, large cast iron skillet. Okay. Make sure you keep your noodles in there because it makes a mess on the stove. So I usually kind of pick them up, throw them in there because it ain't going to hurt. Let me help you. you got to open this bag all the way. See? Two bags of Fideo in a pan. It's cut Fideo. You could buy it at any store and it's real cheap. Real reasonable. So you do the same thing, you get flip it around. Look, see the oil? Mm -hmm. You get it where it, what? Yeah. I turned the light on so we could have better lighting. Okay. Whoops, I forgot to turn this side on, whoops. You don't wanna do that. So I'm going to turn it on for a little while, but then I'm going to turn it off because I have to prep other stuff like tomato sauce and all that and I have to wash the vegetables. So I have a lot to do. There's a lot of steps involved, but it's worth it at the end. You get the noodles here, lubricate them with the canola oil. You could actually use any oil. Just depends what you think is healthy and what you know what you want to use. Put water. That's not the cup I wanted. Go get a cottage cheese container, that's better. So, you take the noodles here, now they have the oil glaze all over them, so there's a little water here, you're probably wondering, well water and oil, yeah it doesn't mix very well, but it heats up pretty good after a while. Alright, fill that one up with more water then. You want to kind of just get this warmed up. Yeah, why is this one on? Because I don't want to burn it because I'm trying to do this one. Okay. So what I do is I pull my pan off the grill so 
so I don't burn it until I get everything prepped because it's hard to multitask. You don't want to burn your fideo. It comes out really bad and it could burn from the oil. Now what I got to do is wash these vegetables. So uh, my assistants are going to be watching this. You wash your vegetables with cold water because you never know what's on them. It might be pesticide and you surely don't want to get sick. You know. So you wash them like that in a bowl. See all that white milky stuff? That's dirt and probably pesticide and starch. There's a lot of starch in vegetables. Have your dish drainer in your sink because you don't want all that falling in your drain. So you kind of give them a bath here because there's a lot of starch. See? And so you just kind of drain them. I don't have the strainer at right now. So I usually do it old school style in a bowl and put your hand over it like that. Look at all that water coming out, all that. You do that until you drain them out real good. Some people can't do this, it's hard. But I have big hands so I could do it. So now I'm gonna go back this way. We're not quite ready yet because we need to, I need, I need help getting the tomato sauce here. And we cannot open them like that and film. We're gonna take a brief intermission. Okay, go. No. Go, go. Okay, I washed the vegetables. Now I'm gonna put some in here. It's onions, garlic, and bell peppers. So you put a little here. Whoops, never have your bowl too close to the stove for safety. Put that. Get it all in there. We're not cooking that one just yet. You always want to make sure you put enough. Some people don't like onion. You can make fideo without it. Just use sauce. So I, I during the intermission we open the sauce. So you put one full can, which is how big is that? That's a 29 ounce can, which is one pound of tomato sauce, regular, mm. non-spicy. See it pouring in? Mm -hmm. Go like that, see it? Look at that. We're gonna do the next one. You watch out for the lid cans, that's not safe to have them like that. So we're gonna pour this, oh, I gotta do the vegetables, look. See here? You do the vegetables. Usually kids don't like vegetables. But when we get through with this, they're gonna like it. That's a lot of them. Put a little on top. Are you getting that? Yep. Put all that in there, you don't want to waste anything, right? Mm -hmm. Look at that. There we go, you stir this around a little. Spread it out. Of course, sometimes these pans aren't big enough, but we're gonna make it work. We already put water, oil. I have one can of sauce here for this one. Look at, look at. 
Look at it. See that? When you have kids around, you don't want these lids up because kids could get hurt. So you push them down and you get them out of the way. If you feel like you have this uh, not in control, like your burner, something's take it off the grill. So what I'm going to do is do this. I'm going to take both of them off so you know that, that you could stir them like this. Kind of like get them going. See that? Oh, that's nice. You filming that? Now this is regular tomato sauce. This is the non hot. You have to be very careful because this could be very messy. So it was two bags of Fideo noodles. That you buy at any store. It's pretty reasonable. You buy, you get your bell peppers, your onions. It looks, from it sitting, it looks like I'll have to put a little more water. Because, you know, the noodles get doughy and dehydrated. They go like that. Put a little more in there. Okay. And it soaks it right up. Cool. You can see it all mixing now, right? Mm -hmm. It takes a while to cook it. No, it takes like five minutes. And you have a lot of water, like from the vegetables, which will hydrate it even more. Dad, you just gotta constantly keep kind of moving it around. Get it all where there's no dry noodles at all. You flip it, see, like this. See? Mm -hmm. um, looks like we need a can of diced tomatoes. Diced? Can somebody get me one? He needs the diced tomato. We actually um, were supposed to fry those onions. You could do that first if you want. But I kind of like to cook them with. I need the diced tomatoes. Go get the diced tomatoes. It's unpaused at that. Hmm? Then get the diced tomatoes out of the cabinet. Dad, talk. Okay. We're still cooking the fideo. What, we're, what we did, two bags per pan. One onion. Two bell peppers, uh, two cloves of garlic, one clove of garlic for each pan. You don't put two in one, that's too much. And then, before that, you put your oil. You basically get it all glazed with the oil, so like, like you're stir frying it. I got it. We're putting a can of diced tomatoes. It'll make it more juicier. Keep it hydrated. Now you don't have to make fideo like this. A lot of people just like it regular. The thing is, is you don't want the fideo to stick to the bottom of the pan. That's why I cook it on a low flame. basically try to keep it clean in your area here because the noodles flop all over the place. The skillet I'm using here is a deep dish one. The other one on the left is a, a low type of or, or a low type of skillet. It's not it's basically normal size. 
this is this pan's more for frying chicken, but you could still use it. Just basically stir it around and just keep it takes a while. That lower pan will that one on the left could cook fideo better because it's not as tall as this, it's not as deep dish as this one. Yeah, we're going to add seasonings, a little bit of pepper, salt for those who like salt. You don't want to put too much pepper, just enough. Garlic salt. Um, hold it. See, your fideo starts getting soft here. <laughs> Man, I knew that was gonna happen because of pepper. So that gut. All that gut. You. Always keep your areas clean, go get a rag. You flick your noodles like whatever you're dropping, you get them. Pick them up. You're always, you always clean up your mess because you don't want to get too sloppy with this. The object is, is don't let it stick to the bottom of your pan because then you know you're ruining it. As long as you're in control of it on a low flame, then you're doing okay. See, see how I'm stirring it? Just make sure you have a good sturdy spoon, not one of those plastic spoons that bends, because then you end up flipping it all over, flinging it all over the place. I use bamboo. That's too close. I use bamboo because it's sturdy. Bamboo's real sturdy because it's like a wood. They're, pro they're easy to clean, they dry quick, they're, you know, you don't want to leave them in water, like in a sink full of water, like if you intend on cleaning dishes, but not right away. Never leave them floating in water because they swell up and get ruined. So you put a little garlic, so if you had salt, myself, I'm not supposed to have salt, so I don't, I use a little garlic salt. Just depends on what, you know, what you want. You have to be in control of it, make sure it's... Onions and garlic are good for you. To you, this probably looks like a lot. Like I said, fideo, you could eat it regular just with the sauce, a little salt and pepper, and that's it. Some people eat it like that. Me. I like to be creative with it because not too many people make fideo. Because I used to hear a lot of people say, oh, it takes too much time, it's kind of hard. People make it, they make a mistake. They either make it too soggy or they, they mess up on it, you know, so. Some pans will cook them better. This one on the left, this pan here, this, this pan cooks better because it's not deep dish like the one I'm using but I like using the one I'm using. Don't get too close with that plastic. You just kind of make sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the pan. And it starts getting dehydrated, you add a little water, but you don't want to go too much. Looks like the video is over.
What did you do? While well, we're still cooking this Fidel, it takes a while. The oil's heated up. This is basically like a healthy type of fideo in a way because it's got, you know, the onions, bell peppers, tomatoes. See, I like bamboo stuff, the spoons, because you could go like this and bang them like on the pan real easy like that and it helps get the stuff off the spoon a little. Now, if you control it good. Just kind of keep stirring it. The oil, everything in the bottom gets heated up. Of course, it sticks to the pan a little, but as long as you use your scrape like this, keep it, you know, just kind of work it. You could be creative with Fideo. You could actually cook it like this and add meatballs or make your own. You could probably get turkey. For those who like turkey meat, you could probably make your own meatballs and, you know, probably pre-cook them first before you actually put them in. Or boil them up, eat them on the side with it. So mine's probably going to need a little bit of water. I have to control this. Uh, I don't want it to burn. It take it's a little time consuming, but not too bad. Uh, do you know that we're filming? It goes out. It so like I said, oh, give me a rag. See, you got to watch when you put a little water in there and it gets a little loose. Uh, I splattered a little bit here. So you always want to clean it. You want to manage everything. You want to get too close with that. Look at that fideo. So, like I said, this is called fideo. You use two bags of fideo noodle for each large skillet. You have a choice of using onions, bell peppers, garlic. Always put some garlic clove in it. Um. Use oil to get it going. You glaze it you on low flame. Like like you're stir frying the noodles. Get them going. Get it all glazed all the way around. And then you add stuff. Tomato sauce. A little water. You just keep cooking that. Scrape the bottom of the pan like this. You could take the vegetables and actually pre-cook them before you actually put it in the fidel. Because sometimes people like them crunchy, some don't. People like them soft because they have a hard time chewing stuff. So, I was actually going to do that, but I kind of forgot. I figure why not just throw it all in together. Always keep your, your area cleaned and wiped down. You can let it cook on a low flame. You don't have to constantly 
stir it, but you have to be in control of it. See how mine's getting all cooking? I know it looks like there's a lot in there. If you think yours is done, yeah. pull it off the grill. Turn the grill off. I'm gonna cook mine a little while longer. Of course, always in the middle of the pan, it's gonna look like, you know, it's sticking and burning. That's how these cast iron skillets are. You could probably cook in a non-skillet pan, but I like using these old school ones. You don't like it. Does it need more sauce? He doesn't like it. good. Tastes like, it tastes like spaghetti. Do you need, is it okay? Yeah. So We're probably going to put a little more pepper. Are you recording? Yeah. We're going to be using a little more pepper. What's the ingredients? A little more gargle, or garlic salt. What's the ingredients for all of this, Dad? If you want to make a good one. Well, for those who like hot, you could use a picante, like a tomato sauce. There's a brand called El Pato, which is good. It's in a yellow can. Not very expensive, but very spicy. I can guarantee you that. I know a lot of people who think, oh yeah, I could eat hot stuff. Well, I can guarantee you that stuff in the yellow can will get you. The stuff I use is regular. It's regular tomato sauce, you know. So it's for those who can't handle the spices. Can you put meat in the potato? If you want. You could cook some hamburger, but cook it separate, like on the side, and then mix it up after it's all done. You know? You could actually eat this with flour tortillas. You know? You could eat it in a bowl. Okay, it looks like all of our stuff's done. So I'm taking mine off the grill so it doesn't burn. You gotta have yourself a big container. Go, be careful. This could go in the sink, we don't need that here. So this is the after product when it's done. So we're gonna have to get this out of the pan. I need a container. And, excuse me. Well, the fideo's uh, done. We're putting it in a container. And what it will do, it'll mar marinate with everything. Once I put the lid on the container, all the moisture will start settling in it. What you do with these old school cast iron skillets is when you're done with them, you soak them in the sink with warm water and a little soap, dish soap, and let them soak for about an hour or two so you know that they're loose enough to clean or scrape clean. Or use one of those stainless steel scouring pads because they are hard to clean. I know the cowboys used to cook with them back in the old days, you know. They made food taste real good. So like I said, you have onions, garlic, bell peppers, and diced tomatoes in here. Sometimes I like a lot of types of, you know, vegetables in mine. Some people don't like all that. Put that in the sink. 
So we have one pan in here already. And it also depends on how much tomato sauce that you like. As a person, I usually use one can per big skillet. So now I'm unloading the second pan in here. Yeah, you're probably saying, oh man, that looks like a lot of vegetables. But I'll tell you what, when you get to eating it, you're going to think different. Especially when you're hungry. I never knew how to make this when I was a kid. You know, I used to watch my grandma and grandpa make it and everybody loved it. And they only made a little bit. They only made a little bit for each other, my grandpa and grandma. So... They just made enough so when the family came over, they were lucky if they had a little bit, you know. And this here, I make a lot. And this is a good something to take to uh, like a Christmas dinner party to the park because you could eat it cold. You could eat Fideo cold. You make sure you put it in the fridge. Don't leave it sitting in your closet or your room for two days. You have to put it in your, you know, in the fridge. You don't keep it. And then the next day, it even tastes better because it, it sits. It marinates in everything. Because when the lid's on, the moisture from the heat here, because this is still warm, it builds up real good. See how much that is? That's a lot. See the pan here, how it sticks? But like I said, if you get on it right away and go soak it, it should be good within an hour to scrape and clean. It's like a mountain. And I'll take the spoon. That's it for today. Okay. Hello, I am uh, my, my dad's assistant, and I hope you uh, drop a like and subscribe to our channel and press the notification button and give, a, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for, for watching and subscribe.